in this video uh, we are going to see how to post any transaction to a specific ledger so first uh, before posting to a specific ledger i just wanted to show you uh, like um, what will happen if we go through a standard route so let me post one transaction through a fb 50 so this is a standard toy code and we don't see any uh, ledger details here in the header level okay so to post to any standard uh, transaction code we basically use fb50 and we try to post a transaction so let's go here execute give a reference as header text not header text, uh, we'll give, go with a ledger, ledger 01, ledger all, let's say ledger all. So we'll try to post these two, two GL accounts. I'm just uh, selecting any GL accounts, now, office rent and purchase account. Okay, so I will take two, GL accounts because our concept here is to understand the ledger postings. So now give header and one is debit. We'll go for 10,000 USD. Here also I will put 10,000 USD. We'll update the cost center. US rent. Okay, so now I have updated all the details. So here we don't need a cost center, that is fine. Okay, so we have updated all the details and when I will just click on post. So this is the document got created 100003. So this is the document got created. So what I will do is I will copy this document 10003 and I will show you in AC Docker table as 16 and go to AC Docker table and give your company code Tata Motors US and fiscal year as 2023 and the document number. Now execute it. So when you execute it, so you see here, it has updated 0L ledger, 2L ledger, and TL ledger. So these are all three GL ledgers which we have updated and it has been showing up to all the three ledgers at a table level. But as a user or a, as a business, they don't want to update this transaction to all my ledgers. So in that case, what SAP is suggesting is use different transaction code that is FB50L. So when you go to FB50L, so you will have the option of using a ledger group here. So I will use and try to post the same transaction to a 2L ledger now. Okay, so we'll put debit and credits and we'll give the amount as uh, same amount 10,000. 10,000. We'll give a cost center and I will save it. So now you can see a document. It has been posted with a document seven zero 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 account so it is a ledger entry so that is the reason you will see a separate document now now i will go to the same table sc 16 and sudoka and give the document number year 2023 and the tata motors us i am not giving any ledgers here and i executing 
so you will see the transaction is been updated only to a to a ledger same wise you can update you can go and update fb 50l and i want to post only to a 0l ledger now Same GL accounts will take. Okay, so 1004 is been posted. Let's go and see. This is in posted and here 2023 company code is Tata Motors US and execute. So you will see it is updated only to zero L ledger. So this is how you can post the transaction to a specific ledger. Even if you want to see the transaction on the display mode, if I go to FB03, so you will see the document number 23, press enter. And here on the ledger view, click on other ledger so you will see here zero l is updated so these are all simulation ledger coming from a some other uh, uh, student specific uh, transactions so this is not a valid one so at a table level you see the same document is been updated c16n i will show you again so that you will not have a confusion because the transactions are coming from uh, because this system is been practiced by many uh, students so that is the reason uh, it is coming up from a different configuration so we'll go and give the same so at a table level because table is a source of truth for us so it at a table level it is updating 0l Okay, so this is how the transaction can update to a table level, means uh, to post to a specific ledger.